Good morning, friends. Um, just as a reminder that it can be a use, useful thing to just state out loud, I connect my deep self. Notice what happens. I connect to my higher self. Notice what happens. I ground myself to the healing center of the earth. I open myself to the healing power of the one. And I let go of anything that's not useful to me now. Just notice if you feel something happen when you say that. So today I'm just going to talk a bit about the day today. So we're in the second month of the Mayan calendar year, which begins the, the year begins on July 26th every year. And it's a 28-day month, and there's 13 of them. So we're in month two, which is the lunar month of challenge. And we have basically five more days of this month. It goes through um, September 19th. And today is a white overtone dog. So I'm going to just give you a little bit of an, a little bit of information about the overtone, which is tone number five of the lunar tones. So white dog is the solar tone, the solar tribe, the solar kin. All those words are interchangeable. It's the solar tone. And when you're born, um, you can go to you can go to one three moon dot com, and it'll say decode a birth date, and then you click on that, and you put your month, day, and year of birth, and it'll tell you who your lunar and solar kin are. So your solar kin has to do with like today is the day of a white dog. That's the solar kin. And then the lunar tone on that day was overtone. So white overtone dog is today. And that is I'm going to get the exact kin. That is kin number 70, the white overtone dog. So there's 260 total lunar solar kin mixes. There's 260 and so the cycle goes 260 days and it starts over again at one and goes 260 days and starts at one and goes 260 days. Um, so the overtone is tone number five and tone number four was about defining measuring form and the 13 lunar tones go, you know, every 13 days. And they start over again from beginning from 1 to 13. The overtone is tone number 5. And that's about empowering, commanding, and radiance. So tone number 4 is about creating form. And tone number 5 is, five is about activating that form. So the words, and I don't have my glasses, so we'll see how well I do reading these words. The principle of the center governed by the number five allows the order of four to move. And as the seasons move around a common solar center. So that's all I'm going to say about that for now. But I'm just going to talk about the white dog and kind of the meaning of the white dog. And 
The White Dog is about love, the heart, and loyalty. And I'm realizing that I'm probably not going to be able to read this without glasses, so I'm just going to let it run and get my glasses and come right back. I didn't want to go through all that again. <laughs> okay, so the white dog, um, again, it's related to the crown chakra. It's about love, love, heart, and loyalty. So, indeed, when the human soul's intrinsic value is to love, there can be no greater confirmation to what makes a person truly human and yet divine at the same time and that was a quote by William River Bento, who I will look up later to find out who that is, because that sounds familiar. But so, so what it says is that the heart is both earthly and heavenly. It's a medium between spirit and matter. The heart is pure and capable of anything incapable of anything but complete honesty. The heart's nature is unconditional acceptance. Its essence is receptivity, transparency, and devotion. Its strength is in its vulnerability. Its beauty in its in its expression, its function is love endowed with infinite resources to share its graces. The heart, as a spiritual center, wishes to serve in the glory of union, welcoming all inclusively. As we dwell in our heart's simplicity, love takes the reins, and a path of possibilities effortlessly opens before us. The heart's domain is relationship. Temples of initiation offering vast insight into the celestial prisms of the heart and the myriad layers of con connectivity among souls. So the heart is the temple. So White Dog urges us to seek out and enjoy our companions of destiny, our kin, who fulfill our heart's longings to reciprocate true love. The basis of healthy relationship is to always honor the truth of one's own heart. Pain in one's life from unresolved wounds signals our attention. One of our heart's roles is to transduce pain into acceptance, resulting in peace. The personal process requires full awareness on feeling the sensations of the pain, whether physical or emotional, or both, while recognizing that it that in a transcendental sense, the pain is not who we are, it's just showing blockages or imbalances. It's merely passing through us, seeking a heart to meet and acknowledge it. If we give all the pain over to our heart center and surround it with a vigilant, patient, compassionate embrace, the fire of our self-loving acceptance burns out its veils diminishing its intensity, and if needed, liberates us into the lessons underlying the pain. White Dog asserts that the essence of our being is love. Everything we do is either love or a cry for love. The all-curing medicine of compassion is sourced from the heart. So I read those words this morning and felt that they were really good words and that it would be useful to read them allowed to you.
do hope that these words find you well and that we will continue to breathe, which allows us to continue to function in a body. And um, the more we breathe, the more aware we are of our breath, the more aware we can begin of the blockages in the body where tension is held from unresolved events in the past. And as we just acknowledge these and don't get lost in the energies of the past, just be aware when they arise, that's an opportunity to choose to let them go. If we find a lot of emotion with a story, then we can notice the story, notice the emotions, separate the two, arm's length apart, release the emotions, release the story. And just do this over and over and over again. Okay, that's, that's it for today. Um, may you have a lovely day. And now let's go.